Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video of the power automate and in this video we will learn a very interesting thing that whenever a item is going to create in the SharePoint list then we want to send a approval to the manager okay and the approval will be sent via two ways one is by the email and the second is by the approval link okay so using the email we have already learned in my previous video if you didn't watch my previous video then before proceeding watch first and this is the second way that we will create a approval link and using that link a manager or a higher authority can take an action on that okay so suppose this is sharepoint list this is title column and approver name here i'll show you the list and the schema of the list is title single line of text approver name person or group approver comments multiple line of text approver status single line of text all right and here i will create a flow the flow will be whenever a item is going to create in sharepoint list okay approval link okay click on create so whenever a item is going to create in this SharePoint list, approval list, then what should be happened? Create an approval. Okay. So create an approval first to respond. And here we will provide a title name. So the title name will be our list title name suppose that will be a dynamic and we can say please take an action on it okay and the assign to suppose in assign to column we can use multiples email id y semicolon or what we can do we can assign this by the sharepoint group also so how you can get email address of a sharepoint group and assign to that i have already discussed in my previous video okay i'll share all the links in my description so here suppose we are just uh, putting a hard code value of the email that is my email address and here uh, in the details and in the item links suppose i'll provide a item links link to item that will be link to item okay and link description we can provide the description and here in the requester suppose in the requester i'll provide my email address only or i'll say that will be a dynamic and it will come from the creator created by email okay now from create an approval we will get the approval link okay now this approval link we have to update in this sharepoint list okay and for that what i will do suppose the item has been created only user has just created a title okay and another field like approver name and approver status and approver comments we have to update here so one more column that i will pick from here that will be approval link okay using this approval link a approver can approve or reject the item so here i will go and update a sharepoint list item the same item go to the site address go to the list name and go to the id so that will be our id that is item created id okay and in the title because title is mandatory field so we have to just put the value of the title here similar title 
okay and here approver name claim so in approver name claim we have to provide the email address I think I have to copy this email address from somewhere else. I'll go here, view an account. And from here, I can copy this email address. Okay. And here I will paste. All right. Approver claim entry custom value that will be my email address. Okay, now we have to provide the approval link. So that approval link will be from respond link. Okay, now what will be happened? Two fields will be updated here. First field that this item is assigned to Anil and the second field approval link okay once anil will take an action that whatever action anil will take that action will be updated here approver comments and approver status okay suppose now we will wait for an approval so approval and here wait for an approval okay and which approval that will be approval id all right now if the decision has been taken suppose any decision has been taken by the user then again we will update a sharepoint list and here what i will update i will update the comments and the status of the item and title will be the title okay and here approval comments so here i will go response responses comments and the last thing that we will update approval status okay so here i will update outcome okay now just try to understand first what we have uh, created when an item is created suppose the item will be created only the title will be created okay then we are going to create a link so using that link a user can take an action okay and here we are updating that link in a sharepoint list and this link is assigned to this user okay now we are waiting for the approval means what kind of action user will take if the action will be approved or reject the same action should be updated back to my sharepoint list okay so let's run this flow okay now i will click on test manual click on test to see it work now add a new item to sharepoint list go here and only i will add a title test approval okay now i will save it so once i will save it your flow is running okay when an item is created flow is start to run wait for a second it will create an approval okay approval has been created and item has been updated 
but it's waiting for an approval okay now if you'll we'll see look approval name has been updated and approval link has been created all right now what i will do because i am a approver so i will go and paste this link here so it will come to because here you can see i have all the information test approval please take an action on it requester anil kumar received the same time you can see 10:45 just now and here you can see choose and response so suppose i'll choose and response as approve and here i'll provide looks good please approve okay now once i will submit it then you can see the flow looks wait for an approval has been done and apply to each item also completed okay your flow ran successfully now if you will see back to the sharepoint list item and if you will refresh it you can see approval status has been approved and approval comments has been approved like looks good please approve okay so this trick when you can apply suppose uh, you having any kind of leave application in that leave application suppose a user is going to create and leave then if that user want to send an approval to the to his manager or her hr in that case we can create an approval link and this link we can just uh, uh, display on a power apps button and once user will click on that button this link will be open and user can take an action accordingly the value will be back to update for the same item okay so i hope you like this video and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye